So for the skies to change so much in that time. Ah! This is yet another video where I need certain elements to come together. The first element, I need bad weather. Well, it's summertime here in the UK, so I can pretty much guess that that box is well and truly ticked. It's peeing down with rain. The next element is I really want the tide to be in on its way out and at least halfway. So I want to try and catch the tide in between being in and going out. The next element needs to be a long lens. If we want a 400 mil, I think I should cover it. And the last element is I need to be on the west coast of England in a place called Liverpool. Ah, oh, it couldn't be any worse if it tried. Not only is it raining, but today, this afternoon, when I had the idea to do this, I thought, okay, so this place in Liverpool called Crosby Beach has these little statues. The actual fact, those guys there. Now, they've been photographed to death. And I don't just want to come here and photograph them in the same way that everybody else has done. So I had this brainwave. How about if I opted to challenge myself and shoot maybe between, I don't know, two and 400 mil with a long lens, grab two, maybe three of the little characters. Bear in mind, I've never been here before. So this is just completely fresh to me as it is you, unless of course you've been here before. And I want to grab two or three of them. I want to grab the water kind of up to the waist. I want to do a few long shutter shots. I want the drama in the sky. So there's lots of elements to make the picture that I've got in my mind to be right. Whether I grab it tonight or not, that's another story, we'll just have to wait and see, but let me stop jibber-jabbering. We've got quite literally uh, 20 minutes before sunset. There is not going to be a sunset shot here tonight at all. There were so many clouds in the sky and it looks so dramatic at home. Now I know I've travelled about two hours to get here, but that's in rush hour traffic. Ordinarily I'd have done this journey, my return journey for instance, will probably be about an hour and 15. So for the skies to change so much in that time, ah, it's mad. But on a serious note, never been here before, it just looks fantastic. I will be absolutely amazed if any of this comes out. I'm absolutely soaking wet through, my equipment soaking wet through, but this is just absolutely fantastic. The statues in the water are exactly where I want them to be, but in the background, we've got some ships going past. So I'm doing a fast shutter speed and a slow shutter speed to blur them and make it a kind of a, an ethereal landscape shot. I'm rushing like mad because another ship is coming out now. Uh, I'm trying a long exposure currently set at around about 200 and 300 mil. I'm varying it there and thereabouts just to grab the shot that I really, really want. But I'm really, really up against it. Like I say, it's absolutely peeing down with rain. But I really, really like this shot. I'm going further in because this is what I want. But ideally, I want more than just the one character. War more than just the one statue in the frame. But uh, at this present moment in time, Beggars really can't be choosers. Oh, that's fantastic. At the moment, I've got F36. I've got a 10 second exposure. And just as I'm taking that picture now, that ship in the background is just starting to appear in the picture. So that's going to be blurred behind the statue. I really, really, really like that. I really so hope that this comes out well. I'm kneeling down in the sea. I'm, <laughs> oh, my gear is wet. Oh, yeah, let's get another one. Quick, quick, quick.
the slideshow guys let me just very quickly give you my recommendation for the photographer of the week Ben Futrell so Ben Futrell Ben I so hope I'm saying your surname correctly I really hope I am but Ben's an Australian photographer he's a fellow pro photographer and if you can get past his awful choice of hat then I'm just joking Ben uh, then go check his channel out his channel is absolutely fantastic he's a very accomplished photographer and he does great work he's out he probably makes two videos a week, uh, which is way more than I make. But to be honest, if you're already a subscriber to my channel, and if you're watching my video right now, then the chances are you might already be aware of his channel. But if you're not, get yourself across there. His name is Ben Futural Photography. But I'll leave the, the description and the link to his channel in my comments box down there. So just click on it and go check his channel out. and. Send him some love. Let's make sure that ship is exactly where I want that ship to be. Okay, let's try that. Go, 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 quick, 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 quick. So at the moment, I've pretty much got the horizon in the middle. I've got the ship off to the left-hand side. The little statue off to the right hand side and really low to to give drama to make the statue feel as if it's kind of risen above the water and I just want that ethereal feel and that's exactly why I'm closing the aperture right up it's an f36 at the moment I never shoot at f36 but the pictures in the back of the camera look absolutely dreamy they look fantastic now I'm not photographing these subjects because they haven't been photographed before they've been photographed a million times I just want that ethereal feel but if I'm honest I prefer this shot if I had drama and stuff in the background and clearly I haven't got the drama in the background but you know what it doesn't matter I like it I like it I like it the only thing is is the blurred sea the one character I've put him to the right of frame I might even crop it in to the middle of the frame we'll have to wait and see but you know what Ah, oh, just love, 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 love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm at ISO 105.6 at the moment to give it a really shallow depth of field, and I'm at a quarter of a second. So there might be some slight movement in that water, but after this shot now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase my ISO all the way up to about 800. That way it's gonna force me to increase my shutter speed. So at the moment, ah, oh, that rain. At the moment, I'm at 30th of a second, because I wanna try and I want to try and freeze just a little bit more of that water and then I'll take one more shot, I'll go nice and wide, I'll go outside my comfort zone again uh, with a really long shutter speed, let's try that right now, right right now, just to give the impression and give the feel of exactly where we are, okay so this is just nothing going on except the statue is right in the middle of the frame, let's make sure get my so my ISO right way back down to 100 let's get my aperture let's close it right up to 32 my it's at 32 at the moment so therefore my shutter speed is going to be right down where can I be with my shutter speed right now I could push it slightly push the boundary slightly uh, I'm at 13 seconds Do you know what, the only problem I've got now is that the wind is really picking up and with this wind that's picking up now, 30 second exposure with the actual, the camera set on a tripod dug down deep into the sand There's bound to be movement there, there's got to be movement there I'd be very surprised if there was no movement there at all Very surprised It's so windy at the moment, I've even opted for 10 seconds on my timer and not the 2 second option just to really give this camera chance to settle down before the actual picture's taken. And we're getting more of a reveal now as the tide goes out more and more and more. Just nothing in the sky though, I really want drama in the sky. There was so much drama, but do you know what? I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's drop it down a bit more, because I could see the reflection in that water. And it's nice. Nice, 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 nice. I am getting absolutely soaked wet through. The one advantage about buying decent gear is that it's all waterproof. 
and I really really don't mind it getting wet I so hope this works I so hope this works now ideally I came here with the intention of grabbing maybe two or three and that's the reason the sole reason why I've got a long lens on because I wanted to go way way back and zoom way way in and compress them and get two or three maybe quite close together now if I'm honest I've never been here before and these suckers are miles apart they're actually quite a distance apart it's quite eerie if you've, if you've been here before you'll know what I mean it's quite eerie at the moment the tide's going out so they, they're kind of revealing themselves but I should imagine if you're here when the tide is coming in oh quite weird that quite weird shoot over now I'm so buzzing that when I get to the car I'm gonna to have to do an inventory check as soon as I get back just to make sure put everything away packed everything because I was running around like a blue ass fly what a fantastic shoot I mean you can still see it now it's absolutely peeing down with rain excuse the French when I left home we had dramatic skies here we have none when I left home there was no rain here the second I put my handbrake on my car it absolutely peed it down and it's still peeing it down now all my gear is soaking wet but you know what hey ho ah, I said it a million times and I'll say it again and again and again if landscape photography was easy everybody would be doing it and everybody would do it well it's not easy oh I've had a fantastic fantastic shoot